I'm Jerry DeRoche. I'm the CEO of Needs. Needs is an organization that provides service dogs to people that are deaf, hard of hearing, or have a disability. We're located in Princeton, Massachusetts, and we provide training on campus for our clients as they come to receive their dog. The campus that we're on in Princeton, we've been here for just over 20 years. Clients are here for up to two weeks as they receive training on how to live with a service dog. We created and we pioneered campus-based training for clients, and we thought it was appropriate that we had a spectacular client house that really reflected our approach to client training. That architect listened to me when I said I was looking to build essentially an industrial strength bed and breakfast. I wanted to uh, be able to uh, withstand wear and tear, but I wanted to have the feel of a home and to have the friendly, comfortable feeling that you have when you're in your home or when you're at a bed and breakfast. But I think it's important that we have not only reliable uh, heat and cooling, it's important for our clients not to again be inconvenienced with the challenge of the heat not working in the dead of winter. On uh, campus, we have the option of using either oil or propane, and uh, we decided that we'd use propane. We thought it was uh, clean, cost efficient, and reflected exactly what we're looking for in terms of operating the client house here in an efficient way. If they want to sit up and uh, read a book and be by the fireplace at night, we want to make that available to them. Well, all electric as an option for this house was never really even considered. It's not cost effective here. Oil was a consideration, but again, it's not necessarily as efficient as effective. And from my standpoint, because our administration building is heated with propane. One of the things about uh, our campus is it's, we're set out in the in rural parts of Princeton and it literally it is a campus with a lot of uh, beautiful grounds. From an aesthetic standpoint, when I was thinking about what we would be doing in terms of heating the facility, the opportunity and option to bury the tank and get it out of sight was an important consideration. I find it extremely reassuring and, and comforting to know that down the road if we put in a generator and we use propane as the uh, the power source that we're going to be in a position where we can continue our training and that the clients won't suffer any ill effects if we have a power outage that's either of short or long duration. I'm proud about the way we impact people's lives. We give them a degree of independence they wouldn't otherwise have.